What's up, Wayne Baron here with DarkFlakes.net, and this is going along with our Windows 2003 server DNS, uh, which this is for anybody with DNS that is wanting to run an email server. And uh, AOL is one of the primary, still one of the most primarily used AO, um, email companies out there. And in order for your mail server to be able to send email to an AOL member, you must be on their whitelist. And so in order to get put on the whitelist, you have to send an email to them and then they have to basically check out your system via the email uh, IP address and so forth in order to allow you or disallow you. So the uh, URL that we want to go to is postmaster dot AOL whoops AOL dot com forward slash support request dot PHP it's already there so let's go ahead and enter that and let's bring this down so we want to go down to the very bottom one because this one is for us we are the email administrators the providers of email accounts and we are non AOL members. So we're going to drop down this list and we're going to select whitelist requests. Click on next. And you need to read through all this information. See if there's anything here that may or may not pertain to you. And if it does, then correct it. If not, then come all the way down here to the bottom. Choose yes and accept guidelines. Okay, now what you want to do is that you want to enter your FBL email address. This is an email address that is authorized to receive reports from AOL. And uh, these reports are uh, like if somebody on your mail server, one of your clients, uh, sends a spam email to an AOL member, they can send a complaint to your email address. This right here is an email address of an administrator and so forth. An email address that can accept these type of emails from AOL. So it's best to choose an email address that you have created. You also want to make sure that you have uh, one of the following email addresses set up within your email server. Either abuse at your domain or postmaster at your domain. One of them too has to be inside of your mail server as a email address that is accessible and also uh, through your who is database. So enter in your FBL. Uh, uh, you can simply create an FBL. You can actually have FBL at your domain.com and then set that up and then uh, use that email address to send in to AOL. And then what they will do is that they will uh, send an email back to you and then you follow the instructions in that email. And then this right here will get you started on whether or not they will accept you or decline you. And so uh, luckily enough, uh, through a couple of uh, issues that I had to take care of on my end, they work with you very well. I was able to get mine to where they will accept me and this was done about to oh, a year ago so anyway uh yep that's how you set everything up with aol and uh i would go ahead and go through this but i don't remember exactly what comes next and i don't want to add in something and then have them go hold it you're already here okay wayne baron with darkeffects.net y'all have a rocking time now bye bye